God damn it, these fringe groups or conspiracy theories groups. Same thing, really. Yes, it's the same. Minority extremists. Minority views. Ones that, uh, hate the mainstream. The ones that hate the truth. The ones that hate evidence based information. Look what they did in Vancouver. They wanted it to happen in Toronto. I don't know when it's going to happen in Toronto. And I am not going to probably go down to the film. It would be stupid. But if I ever do. Uh, well. I'll keep my distance. Because I don't want to end up. Potentially catching that virus. I'm not going to break the rules. Not for them. Fuck that. So uh. Here's the other thing, uh, they broke the, uh, physical distancing rules, and since the virus takes about 14 days to, uh, yeah, 14 days before symptoms even show, it's that insidious. It's like a very, very fucking stealthy soldier or army that invades the body, multiplies like crazy. And then the symptoms finally show. And by that time, it can spread that quickly. And most of these theorists, I don't know, or sorry, fringe groups, members that attended that protest, protest, probably ended up getting it. Yeah, they probably ended up getting it. And within 14 days, we'll find out. Correct? Yep, 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 yep. We will find out if they've got it or not. And, uh, they can't accuse us of anything, because, uh, unlike them, I don't read their articles. No, if I ever did, I don't take them seriously at all. I don't read their articles, I don't follow fringe groups, I don't, or conspiracy groups, same thing, I don't follow them. I used to, ten years ago, and luckily I stopped, otherwise... My sanity would have gone downhill. So, yeah, that was a while ago. I don't do that no more because it's not healthy for my mental health. And these individuals, I feel sorry for them. I feel really sorry. And maybe they got fined for it. And heavily fined or ticketed or something. And if they do ever do that in Toronto, they're all going to be ticketed and fined at least a thousand, maybe even more than that. More than that. If they ever do that in Toronto. There's probably only a minority group of those individuals there. Maybe in the at least 12 or 12 to 50. Versus the whole population. Of close to 3 million. Yeah, maybe. If they do that in Toronto, they're going to get heavily fined and maybe even go to jail. And that won't be nice for them. No, it won't. That's going to be stupid. And if they catch COVID-19, they'll be the ones to have the last laugh. They'll be in trouble. They'll have to end up going to the hospital or self-isolate. Also, at the worst case scenario, yeah. That's going to suck. Nobody's against them. The country is not against them. The province is not against them. The city is not against them. Police aren't against them. The RCMP aren't either. It's their own delusions that are causing them to think that. And, yeah. I can't take them seriously, ever. Ever, 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 ever. That's not a good thing. Anyways. I just thought I'd put that as a video response. And, uh, what else should I say? I don't know. Hopefully, none of this fucking stupidity ever happens, and hopefully, they do not ruin it for the rest of us that are, you know, can't do much about it. You know? We want this shit to end and pass over and complete and go away. But they're only going to make it worse for everybody else if they keep doing this shit. Anyways, thanks for watching.